The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, our newest cosmic eye, is looking across vast distances and grabbing light that's traveled for over 13 billion years. This light doesn't just tell us about the past, it shows how the universe has changed, stretched by its constant growth. When we look way back at the oldest galaxies, we're basically seeing a really early time, close to the Big Bang, which is thought to be the start of everything. The Big Bang Theory says that the universe did have a beginning and isn't infinitely old. But since it came about, some folks, even within the science community, have had doubts. For a while, the Big Bang Theory seemed solid, especially after we found the Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB, in the 60s. This background radiation, a faint hum everywhere in the universe, matched what the Big Bang predicted. However, recent observations from the JWST have brought back old doubts and made us question the Big Bang again. With the JWST's amazing accuracy, we've spotted really old galaxy clusters that are bigger and more common than we thought. This is making us rethink our ideas about the early universe. The telescope is letting us see the first galaxies forming, giving us a view Hubble couldn't. Hubble just wasn't strong enough to pick up the faint, stretched light from these super early galaxies. The JWST lets us look back to the very edge of time and makes us wonder, how did the first galaxies form, and did the universe really have a single starting point? The early universe was hot and so dense that light couldn't move freely. That means no matter how good our telescopes are, we can't see further back using just light. But we're not stuck with just light. New technology is making it possible to detect gravitational waves from colliding black holes. This might give us a new to see the universe's early days, maybe even the Big Bang itself. Thinking about the Big Bang and why some people doubt it goes back to the 1920s and 30s. That's when astronomers noticed that far-off galaxies seem to be moving away from us. This discovery, plus Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, set the stage for the Big Bang idea. Einstein's math said that a static universe wouldn't be stable. It would either shrink or expand. The fact that we see expansion meant the galaxies were once much closer, hinting at a violent start for the universe. The universe's expansion has big results. Not only are things moving further apart, but the light they give off stretches out, shifting to longer wavelengths. Wavelength relates to energy, shorter wavelengths mean more energy. This red shift tells us that the universe has cooled the older it gets. If we go back in time, everything would have been so hot and dense that neutral atoms couldn't exist, resulting in a uniform, hot glow. This glow was spotted in 1964 when Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson found the cosmic microwave background, a radiation field echoing that fiery start. As the JWST pushes our view of the cosmos, scientists are finding things in the early universe that don't quite fit with the usual Big Bang story. We're seeing huge, bright galaxies where they shouldn't be, clustering in ways that are unexpected. So, if the Big Bang can't explain everything, what else could? The Big Bang theory has a singularity at its core, a point of infinite density and temperature where the rules of physics break down. That's believed to be where space and time began. But this idea, while strong, has limits. Try to imagine all of existence squeezed into a point with infinite density. That's where we get stuck. Even though observations and experiments support parts of the Big Bang, the initial singularity is still a mystery. Did the universe have a different kind of beginning? In the search to understand the cosmos, science has found ways to make similar conditions. For example, quark-gluon plasma has been made in labs, and matter-antimatter pairs have been created to match early universe predictions. By doing these experiments and looking at changes in the cosmic microwave background, we have a pretty good picture of how the universe changed. But big questions remain. If all of space was once squeezed into a single point, why is the universe's temperature so even? In the usual models, different areas of space should have different temperatures since they wouldn't have had time to exchange energy. We also might expect leftovers from the hottest times, like magnetic monopoles or spatial weirdness. But we don't see them. These issues open up new ideas. Either the universe had these balanced properties from the start, or something made them happen. 
One idea is cosmic inflation, a super-fast expansion thought to have happened before the Big Bang. On December 7, 1979, physicist Alan Goose suggested that before the hot Big Bang, the universe grew exponentially. This inflation could explain why the universe seems flat, even, and the same in all directions. After inflation, the universe would have shifted to the hot, dense state we associate with the Big Bang, setting the stage for galaxies, stars, and planets. But scientists now realize that cosmic inflation doesn't fix everything either. For example, observations by the JWST have found surprisingly big galaxies from the early universe, suggesting they formed faster than inflation can explain. The JWST is giving us an amazing view of the cosmos. This $10 billion infrared telescope has captured awesome pictures of the early universe, showing huge, bright galaxies from when the universe was just a fraction of its current age. While astronomers thought they knew how matter came together to form the first stars and galaxies, the JWST's findings suggest galaxies grew much faster. These discoveries have scientists both excited and cautious, as some are rethinking basic ideas about how galaxies form. According to astrophysicist Erica Nelson, the huge galaxies seen in the first 500 million years don't fit existing models. The JWST's early data suggests that galaxies from this time might have been much bigger and more common than we thought, maybe even as big as today's Milky Way. This fast growth is making scientists question current models, which said galaxies that big wouldn't form until 1 to 2 billion years after the Big Bang. Nelson's research suggests that galaxies might have grown more aggressively than expected, allowing for new ideas about galaxy change. Dark matter, an invisible substance that makes up about 85% of the universe's mass, shapes the large-scale structure of the cosmos. Usual cosmology says that galaxies form inside huge halos of dark matter, which attract regular matter, allowing stars and galaxies to come together. But JWST observations challenge this model, as galaxies seem to be forming in ways that don't fit our understanding of dark matter. The existence of dark energy, a force causing the universe to expand faster, makes things even more complex. Some models suggest that early dark energy, a temporary surge in dark energy density, might have sped up galaxy formation, aligning with JWST findings. But these adjustments have to fit with the standard cosmological model, which has explained cosmic change on larger scales. As interesting as the Big Bang Theory is, it's not the only way to explain the universe's start. Some theories have gained attention and offer different viewpoints. The quasi-steady state theory, unlike the Big Bang, says the universe didn't have a beginning and that matter is constantly coming into existence as the universe expands. As galaxies drift apart, new matter is created, keeping the density consistent. But this theory couldn't explain the CMB, which strongly supports a hot, dense early universe. The mirror universe theory is a more far-out idea. It suggests that two universes were born in the Big Bang, one moving forward in time and the other backward. This twin universe would change in reverse, offering a mirror image of our cosmic history. It's a highly hypothetical idea, but it implies that the universe might be more complex than we thought. The digital simulation hypothesis considers that our universe is a simulation made by an advanced civilization. Quantum entanglement and the weirdness of space-time give this idea some conceptual support, though it can't be proven. This hypothesis touches on questions of predestination and reality, making us rethink what it means to exist. The multiverse theory, a popular alternative, suggests there are countless universes, each with its own physical laws. In this model, dark energy causes multiple Big Bang-like events, creating a huge multiverse. As our universe expands, creating a void of dark energy, this model implies a continuous cycle of creation, collapse, and rebirth. Each of these theories offers unique ideas about where the cosmos came from, raising new questions about space, time, and matter. While the Big Bang Theory is still the main explanation, it's being questioned and reshaped by new evidence. The JWST, with its amazing sensitivity, is set to unlock even more secrets. 
As the telescope continues its mission, upcoming data will give more accurate measurements of distant galaxies, allowing scientists to fine-tune our understanding of how galaxies change. As the James Webb Space Telescope keeps pushing how far we can see into the cosmos, its discoveries will probably change our understanding of cosmic processes. One area that's set for major changes is how galaxies form and change. Scientists used to think that galaxies formed from small clumps of matter that grew over time, pulled together by gravity. But the JWST has found signs of galaxies that seem to have formed much earlier than expected. These early galaxies are not only bigger and more common than expected, but they also seem to have developed complex structures very quickly. This raises cool questions about what powers galaxy formation. While gravity is important, these massive galaxies in the early universe suggest that other things might be involved. One idea involves supermassive black holes, which could act as central engines for galaxy growth. If these black holes formed early, their strong gravity might have sped up how surrounding matter came together, leading to the quick formation of big galaxies. Plus, the energy released by these black holes might have triggered bursts of star formation, further speeding up how galaxies grew. The JWST can also detect light from some of the early galaxies, giving us new insights into the chemical makeup of the universe at different times. Past telescopes, like Hubble, could see distant galaxies, but they weren't as good at picking up the faint light from the earliest galaxies. With its larger mirror and infrared abilities, the JWST can see galaxies that existed in the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang. These observations are showing a universe that was more chemically diverse than we thought. For example, the JWST has found galaxies that seem to have metals, elements heavier than hydrogen and helium, much earlier than scientists expected. This suggests that star formation in the early universe might have been more complex, with the first stars adding heavier elements to the surrounding gas at a faster rate. Besides galaxy formation, the JWST's finds also give new ways to look at the large-scale structure of the universe. How galaxies and galaxy clusters are spread across the cosmos has long been studied in cosmology. One of the JWST's main goals is to see how these structures grew over cosmic time. The telescope's ability to spot patterns and how galaxies cluster in the early universe could offer clues about dark matter and dark energy and how they shape the cosmos. While the JWST can't directly see dark matter, we can guess it's there by watching how galaxies interact with each other through gravity. How galaxies cluster together might reveal hidden things about dark matter and how it affects the large-scale structure of the universe. The study of dark energy, the force making the universe expand faster, will also get a boost from the JWST. While dark energy has been heavily studied, many things about this force are still unknown. The JWST's ability to measure distant galaxies and their red shift, how light stretches as it travels through an expanding universe, could help scientists better understand how dark energy has changed over time. By comparing the universe's expansion rate at different times, astronomers might learn more about how dark energy works and whether it's been constant or changed over time.